646. Suddenly, I'm in the mood for Queen. Jim Harbaugh and never dull as Michigan gets ready for tonight's Capital One Orange Bowl against Florida State. Our Janine Edwards joins us now live from beautiful South Florida. Janine, it's a tall task here, but you found one man whose sole job is keeping up with Jim Harbaugh. That's right, Kevin. Imagine that. And you know, behind every successful person is a great team of people. And Division One coaches have nine assistants and a myriad of support personnel. And they all have their own routines and methods. And one of Jim Harbaugh's methods is wearing a wired headset here on the sideline during games. He's the only Power Five coach that doesn't go wireless. Wireless, like this. You know, no cords, no cables to tie you down. Harbaugh says he likes the reliability of a wired connection, which means his team of people now includes a cord guy. He asked me if I'd be willing to do it. I said, heck yeah, why wouldn't I? You know, to be right in the action, I love it. Yeah, absolutely I'll do it. Because there's so many different variables that can uh, come into play, whether it be coaches or, or players running through the cords or officials or the chain gang. I'm sorry. I feel so bad for him. It's like you walk back and forth. I couldn't I, I couldn't do it. I really couldn't do it because, like, Co Coach Harbaugh is all over the sideline. But, I mean, he hasn't said anything to anybody, so, I mean, he must like it. I would say it's very stressful because I know he has to follow him around once, and then he also has to try not to trip people up. He doesn't let any outside atmosphere affect him. Stressful. I think, I think it'd be pretty stressful. Honestly, you know, Coach Harbaugh, you never know what he's going to do next. So he's going to be over here one second, over here one, one second. He's going to be in and out, dodging and weaving between between guys. The toughest part is just having that peripheral vision, you know, being aware of all of your surroundings. And that's something that I've kind of picked up from Coach. I don't, I don't really ever really notice notice him, you know, so uh, I guess that's what makes him good. He does it in a very seamless way. Can't think of too many issues that we've, we've had, and, and I know there would be a lot of issues uh, if he wasn't there. Last year, late in the fall, and Coach um, was trying to run to call a timeout in the end zone, and I don't know if he or I was aware of the length of cord that we actually had at the time, so he outran the cord and broke the belt that it was connected to. And it was not his fault at all because he was trying to call a timeout. So the very next game, we added 30 extra feet to our court. Being Corey, that would be, that'd be a, t a tough life because, you know, he's constantly working the ropes, you know, trying to, like, get on, up and under. So, yeah, I wouldn't want that job. I get teased a little bit about that in the equipment room. You know, some players come in or some trainers come in and tease me a little bit about that, being Cordy. But, uh, you know, that's not for me to decide. I can't decide if I have a, a following or not. I just go out there and hold cords. <laughs> And the team created a Twitter handle for the court guy, and the following is now over 1,600, so that's pretty good. But Corey told me he doesn't have time for social media. His real job is assistant equipment manager for the football time team. These guys were responsible for inventorying, packing, shipping over 40,000 pounds and two semis full of equipment that the team drove to Florida for this game. They brought everything that a football team would need. And that equipment staff even packed and set up Christmas gifts in every hotel room for every player for their arrival. Wow. How's that, Kevin, for unsung heroes? That is fantastic. They are they got they do a ton of work behind the scenes. It's a thankless job. But Janine, thank you so much. By the way, third ever matchup between the schools, first in 25 years. You can watch the Capital One Orange Bowl tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern on ESPN.